All right, so we're gonna make some follow-up to my original Android Auto wireless video. I'm about to go on uh, a couple errands, and I figure I'd take you guys along, and we will see the connection of how how this thing actually works or does not work sometimes. We'll, we'll give it a shot. So, turning it on now. Phone in the upside down in there. Turn it the right way. We'll see how long this takes to connect. Um, I drove to and from work this morning, got home, oh, what time was it? 6.30, about two and a half hours ago or so. So once this thing connects, we should see that it connects like normal because I've been out of the car for quite a long time. You can already see that it's about to connect because I got the Android Auto symbol here. There we go. See, it's already popping up. So you'll see it start to come up. And there we go. And I'm not going to show, you know, the screen because clearly we'll go to a different app real quick. There we go. So Android Auto worked perfectly fine very quickly. So let's go to the store. I will uh, turn you on when we get there and tell you how long it was that I was in and out of the store. Maybe I'll leave the camera running to have a little timer so you know exactly how long it, long it is that I'm in and out of there. Uh, I got to make a stop and get some gas. I got to make a stop and go get some beer. So two different stops on this trip. We'll find out how well this connects as I'm making these small trips. Because normally when I get in and out of the car, don't normally have a problem in the morning when I go to work or at night when I come home from work. It's making those small trips that I've noticed a problem, if I notice a problem with this thing reconnecting. Normally it's fine. And I do know that there's supposed to be an OTA update that they're putting out that might correct this issue. I am not run the update yet. I want to do these tests without the update and then try to do them after the update and uh, see what happens. So guys, stay tuned. All right, first stop at the gas station. Going to go fuel up. Notice 634. Uh, so let's see what time it is when I get out. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Actually, took longer than I expected, so a couple more minutes. But let's see, it's 6.48. So it's been five minutes since we went into the store. Um, I got gas and I went inside and I ended up getting in a conversation with the cashier. That's why it took me so long. Um, so let's see, though, five minutes and how well this thing is going to connect. And so I can just tell by the uh, the time on how long I've been recording for that, I mean, it's been over a minute at this point, and this is where I run into the problems the most, is these quick stops that are just a couple minutes long, that's when this thing seems to have issues. And I am betting it's because the box is staying powered for a little bit. So this OTA update is supposed to make it so... It won't keep trying to connect to your phone until your phone actually connects back to the car with through Bluetooth. So now that we've seen this not work, let's go to the next stop, see if we have any differences in the next stop, and then I'll show you like going to work in the morning and how it fires right on up. And then we'll try tomorrow, I'll install the OTA update, OTA update and we will see if that changes anything. <laughs> and just to show, I am at my next stop now, and uh, <laughs> it's only been about two minutes. My next stop is uh, closer than the amount of time I was in the at the gas station, but um, I truly am at a different place right now, and I'm going, it's the liquor store, I'm going in to get something to drink, some beer, actually, uh, but we'll see, it's 6.52, as you can see, the Android Auto never connected during that time frame, and 6.52, we'll go inside this store, we'll come back out, and we'll see if we have any better luck after this stop. All right, back in the car from that trip, let's turn the car on. Time is at 6.58, so what, it's been another five minutes because it was, what, 53? We'll see how I... Is it right now? There, I think it's been over a minute again, and we got nothing on this thing. It's these small stops that really mess with this unit. I don't want to unplug the unit or anything because I want to see in the morning. Um, I'm going to go park the car now. We'll record again in the morning when I go to work and see if after these two trips, it still, it still connects like normal or is it going to have problems now? And just to show quick, we are now back at home. And again, <laughs> I don't even think it's as much time gone off the clock as it was uh, to get to and from the stores. So a lot of things are really close to here. But 
Yeah, see, back home. Uh, but no, there's it never connected. I just wanted to show that it never connected. All right, here we go. The next morning to you guys in a blink of an eye. To me, after some beautiful sleep. Phone on. Car on. And let's see if we can get Android Auto to load up seamlessly. Oops. Well, the sad answer is apparently not. Um, I don't know if maybe it struggles after it had a problem. Let's see. Here's the Android Auto box. You can see it's got a green blinking light on it. I'm going to turn the car off and open the door. Let's see if we can put this in the way you can see it. Turn the car off and open the door. Somebody asked me about door open, so that should cut power to the car. How long this actually stays on. Okay, the light stopped blinking. That was only... What, 10 seconds maybe? So either this port stops giving power after about 10 seconds, or, I guess I can find out real quick. Uh, there you go, let's see, Dev. It's fumbling around here. Just see, port, from all the other phone. Yeah, there's no light coming on. This is not charging. Right, let me switch it just to the other port because there's two ports in here. Make sure there's not something crazy going on with it. Yeah, so mistakenly, before I had said, you know, that it uh, that it maintained power all the time. That seems to be false. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in because I had to change it. So let's see what happens now, though. Car's back on. I guess I should turn it on with my foot. Which is Oops. a damning verdict. We're going to turn off society. the music. Let's see. Shut the door again. Let's see now that it's been power cycled. I'll be honest, I don't normally have this issue normally in the mornings going to work. It's fine. It's only those small trips that cause a problem. It's uh, it's interesting that now it basically wouldn't reconnect. I mean, I guess this is a good test because later today we will, or later today or later in this video, we will install the new OTA update and see if it has, it works any better. Yeah, I do not know what's going on right now. I got a, it's interesting, it seems to be, the Wi-Fi seems to be stuck. You can tell the Wi-Fi tried to connect and it did not. Yeah, it's trying to come to the AA wireless and... Alright, here we go again. It's been about a week since the last time I attempted this. Um, my battery died in the last time I was using the camera, so uh, that's kind of a problem. So you guys couldn't see anything. However, needless to say, that things did not work that day. However, it's been a week and every other time I got in this car, everything has worked perfectly fine. I don't know if it's something about recording that it's just like going to capture the, the few times that it's going to have a problem on my normal journey, but I'm on my way to work again. And here we go. So it's the morning. Haven't used this thing in, you know, 12 hours, 14 hours, whatever it's been. Oops, missed. I already see the Android Auto symbol on the phone. This is going to work perfectly fine. So good, I can show you guys this thing does still successfully work. Uh, I don't know what problems I was having. Let me get off the screen because of maps again. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there we go. It went right back to it. So there you can see it works again. It's going to work when I come home from work. Usually it does. Uh, the only problems, like I said, I was really having were those short trips. Not the long ones that all of a sudden started to happen while I was on camera, but um, that was, it must have been a fluke. So if you guys are concerned, this thing works 90% of the time 
when I'm doing my normal morning routine and things like that, it would be a problem if I stopped to get gas or stopped at a store real quick for like less than 10 minutes. That's when it caused a problem. Later today now, when I get a chance, we're gonna install that update and then we're gonna do some test runs again to see how this thing really works. If it works much better now with the over the air update, we will find out. So interesting, I just left work and I was gonna get my camera all set up so I could show you guys this thing um, connecting before I did the update and notice I got it in my phone beeped at me and already has connected to Android Auto even though I haven't turned the car on yet. So that's interesting because that definitely means that this thing is staying powered. Take a look at it. I mean, yeah, I do have the, the blinking light. So this is staying powered at all times. So it's not really caching, it's, you know, un uncaching its credentials or whatever. So I'm curious how quickly now when I turn this thing on that it's going to pop right up on the screen because it's theoretically already connected, even though I had not turned the car on yet. But that OTA, one of the most turn this down. There we go. See, it's already on. So uh, it's already loading up. You can see my Spotify move down. I guess it doesn't really matter. You guys can know how I work. But um, so here we go with it already connected. But now I know it's actually making that connection before I even turn the car on which is interesting i did not realize that however this ota update is supposed to make it so that it won't actually try to connect until your car is connected via bluetooth so let's go through right now and see if we can figure out how to do this ota update i'm gonna turn on the air conditioning actually while we do this because it is Whew. probably blowing right in there it's probably wasting all the sound but let's see here we go let's do this Turn this off for a minute. A, a wireless config, the change log of things that have happened. Uh, somehow I'm in Bixby. I don't know how that happened. What is happening right now? Okay. All right, let's try this again. A, a wireless config. There we go. Uh, we are going to go to the OTA updates, update your device, current version 1.0, next version 1.2, let's do a download, download now, it's a pretty cool progress bar, I like it, let's start the update, I'm assuming that's it. It's probably the only one that's in this parking lot. I'm kind of surprised to see that this hasn't turned off or anything yet while it's doing an update. It's waiting for reboot. If you can't see that. Another thing is I don't know if that wants me to reboot or if it's going to... I'm assuming it's going to do it on its own or it would have told me. Oh, there we go. So... It cut out. So no updates available. Current version 1.2. It's about to connect again. There we go. It's connected. So it's a seamless update. That's great. I move the camera until I can get the map off. There we go. It shows something else on the screen. And uh, there we go. So we are reconnected. And now... We will just need to do some testing and see how this thing works because if it now theoretically will not connect my device until it's connected via Bluetooth, I should never be able to get in the car and show it connecting. So we'll test now that I'm updated to the next version. All right, first ride with the new update. And after what we discovered yesterday, let's see if we can not turn the car on yet and see if this thing will still connect to Android Auto. Granted, you know, I open the door and the screen does come on a little bit. I don't know if that turns the Bluetooth on in this vehicle or not. My assumption is no. Well, maybe it does, because I am already connected. Uh, hmm. Let's see what it says on the front screen. So Android Auto is already connected, man. That was quick. Sound off here. There we go. I'll go back to the 
forward string. Usually that's where it tells me what my phone is that's connected, but clearly I don't just to see all those numbers. I mean, it definitely connected to my phone. Well, either way, it works. <laughs> and it worked very, very quickly uh, this morning. So that's good. Let's just do some tests with it. All right. So I just stopped for about four or five minutes uh, to go pick up an order. Uh, my phone oh, just fell. It was successfully connected. Oh, of course, now it fell between the seats. Place I can't get it. Ah. There we go. I'll just put it on this just to hold it. That's all that that's for, is for holding. And it does have the Android Auto symbol already on it. Let's turn on the car. And it's, boom, it is connected. So, it looks like I, I, we'll test it again in just a second because I'm going to go to um, going to make a different stop too. But hey, that was a very successful quick stop with a connection that stayed going this time. So that's great. All right, here we are at the next stop. It is 12:57. Gonna run in, get some, uh, uh, pick up something at the store, and we'll see if this thing easily connects. All right, we're back. Short trip over. Man, this thing already has basically reconnected. I can't get it to get in there. As you'll see, we'll see what time it is. When this pops up, 102. So it's been five total minutes and there it goes, it's connecting. So I don't know what this was, if it was, uh, I, it, it's gotta be the update. So the update is obviously doing some very uh, good things. So far, worked flawlessly since I've done the update. I will keep you guys posted on if anything changes, but right now I think that this update solved any of the potential issues that I had, even though I don't quite understand how it works because it said it was gonna make it so that Android Auto wouldn't connect to your phone until your phone was connected to the vehicle. And when my vehicle's not on, I don't understand how it's connecting, but the Ford symbol is on the screen when I get in the car. So maybe it starts to that process before you actually turn the ignition on just when you open the door, it's possible. So maybe that is how it's working. And if so, hey, it, it's fine, it works great. So all the concerns that I've had with Android Auto so far, or the Android Auto Wireless has seemed to be resolved because it was only about those connections and those short trips that I was having problems with. Everything else with this thing is flawless. I've had people ask me if it was, uh, if there's any delay in response. There is no delay in response. It is very, very snappy, very quick. Uh, you can see it can hit buttons, go to go to the calendar. Not that you guys want to see what's on my calendar. I don't have anything on there. Uh, I got some apps that I have. I can go to my phone. Oops, I just dropped my phone. I can go to podcasts or whatnot. And things are extremely flawless, extremely smooth. It's just like I was wired. There's no, absolutely no problems with this thing at all. Uh, I had a couple other people ask me about the the display the the split display and i'll tell you my vehicle hasn't been updated with that yet so i cannot talk about the split display unfortunately somebody did ask about having multiple phones connected to the android auto i have not tested that uh my I, i'm the only one who drives this vehicle uh so my wife hasn't connected to this thing so i can't test that so i'm sorry that i didn't get to test that for you but go to try yourself uh, once you get it and see what happens. Um, I don't know how that would work. And if you can hook up the Android Auto box to more than one, I'm sure other people who have Android Auto Wireless will uh, well, be able to answer that better. But anyways, Android Auto Wireless people, this thing is awesome. I love it. Thank you for the update uh, because it's solved all the problems that I've had, uh, which was very few, but it solved them. So if you're on the fence about this, I highly suggest you jump right on Android Auto Wireless because this thing is a lifesaver. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll follow up with some more reviews in the future if anything changes.